I don't speak much in public, and I try not to speak much at all. <laughs> it's, it's not something that I try to find things to do. But when they, when they do ask you to speak, so you want to do something that people might remember. Uh, like Coach said, I didn't start out here. I went to OU. Um, the fit just wasn't there. And I had been at Muskegon quite a bit as a high school player. I don't know how many people would know this, but I have a cousin that is also a Hall of Famer. Uh, it's Greg Hours. Uh, he came to Muskegon right out of Lakewood, and we watched him play. And so this was some place that I felt comfortable being uh, after going to Ohio University. Uh, someone go through my journey to get to this spot here. One of the first things that I want to do, though, is uh, thank everybody that's here today. Thank the M Club. Thank Muskingum for bringing us back. Thank my parents for being at all my games and supporting me and allowing me to get an education from Muskingum. I uh, like thank the coaching staff that I had with Coach Haycock, Coach Christopher's here for allowing me to develop as a football player. Uh, one of the things I learned from Coach Christopher is as a coach, you don't always have to coach. Uh, after every game, I'd ask him, okay, what do I need to do this week? He's like, just keep doing what you're doing. This was his standard answer. I was like, okay, coach, that's what you want me to do. That's what I'll do. So that's what I did. Uh, I'd like to congratulate the other inductees. Um, as reading their bios, you see what kind of people and athletes they were here at Muskingum. And uh, Mr. Kuhn couldn't be with us. He came here and it looks like he found a good fit and he stayed and he has a, probably a lot of good memories and a lot of people probably know him from here. So my journey starts, I graduate high school. I think I want to play big time football, so I go to OU, which actually is where my parents met and graduated from. So it was some place that I had been and thought I'd like to go, it's a beautiful place, but where you go the first time isn't always the best. And coming to Muskingum, I transferred after my sophomore year. And I came in and I was like, well, I get to compete. I get to have fun playing football because it's a game that you start out playing as eight years old and you have fun and you just get to do things you don't normally get to do in life. Uh, being a larger person, when the football field, you get to knock people down, and that was fun. So when they said, hey, go hit that guy when I was eight years old, I'm like, I get to hit people? All right, this is good. This could be fun. So I get to Muskingum, and we start playing. And I get on special teams, but I don't get to play offense. And it's a learning experience. You learn the offense. You learn what you need to do and what you're supposed to do. But I wanted to compete, so after that year, uh, Mr. Burson was kind enough to let me play basketball for a little bit. So I played basketball to Christmas, stayed here on Christmas, and getting ready to go to my second semester, I got really nervous. And I actually took a semester off and went back home to Hebron and started working in the bank when my dad worked so I could figure out what it is what I wanted to do and where I wanted to go. I don't think Coach Haycock thought I'd ever come back. Uh, you, know, you go have that conversation on registration day and say, Coach, I need some time off. I want to go home. He's like, well, do what you need to do. I said, I'll come back in the fall. So I came back, second team again, but you know what? I got a guy. I can compete against in front of me. And that's what I did. And we go down to Met Bethany, we scrimmage, and on the bus ride back home, coach says, you're gonna start game one. I'm like, that's good, that'll be fun. So I play my junior year, we do okay. 
I don't leave school again. I stay and we have our winter workout. And during that time, coach calls us all at the office as seniors. There's only 11 of us. Kind of a small class, but a lot of good people. And we decided what we wanted to do with our senior year. And I just sat there and listened. These guys were in the conference room. They were talking about what they wanted to do. I had one goal. One goal. I wanted to win more games than I lost my senior year. I don't care what happened. That's what I wanted to do. So we come back to school. We get ready. We go play. John, uh, first game in Urbana. Our quarterback, Bob Todd, gets hurt. Really good quarterback comes in, Chris Starr. I don't know if anybody knew him when he played. That's a good football player. So we finish up at Urbana, we come back, we get ready for John Carroll. We, we get John Carroll down here. We don't play very well, we, we get beat 21 to 12, I looked it up. So after the game, coach, says, okay, everybody, you have the rest of the night off. Be back here Sunday, 6 o'clock. We watch films in Cambridge. I don't know if Coach Logan does that still. Probably have a little bit better set up now, a little bit more modern. But that's where we went every, every Sunday. Defense in one room, offense in the other, one half, the other half, and then you get to see what you do. Uh, one thing I always tried to do was learn from my film. I learned I didn't play very well that game. So being my last year, I wanted to, I was frustrated, I wanted to get out. I got down to the track, I think I was the first one on the track, because uh, we had to run a mile before we went back to our rooms. I wasn't the first one done, I was the first one there. It's all these little guys running real fast. It's hard to chase them down. When I get done, we're hanging out, just talking about what the game was going on and what we were going to do. And Coach Haycock says, hey Doug, well, yes, sir. He said, I want to see you in my office tomorrow. I'm like, okay, coach. What do you want to see me about? He said, I just see you tomorrow. I don't know if I slept that night because you don't want to get called in the coach's office. So I come to my first class on the quad, and I'm coming out of class, and I see coach. I'm like, coach, what do you want to do? He said, I come to my office. I'm like, okay. We get there. He's got the film set up. Has John Carroll game on, talks about what we want to do. Now, the first two games, I played tight end. And we watch the film. He says, this is where you need to improve. Have a great season. Look forward to the rest of eight weeks. And we get done with the film. He says, but there's something I want, I want to put on, put on you, see what you think. He's like, we're not running the football very well, and we need to get our best blockers on the field. And that would entail you moving, in moving from tight end to tackle, bringing a new tight end and shuffling a couple, other couple people around. I'm like, he's like, just take some time, think about it, come back for practice and tell us what you think. It took me about five seconds. I said, give me a gloves, coach. He's like, gloves? I'm like, yeah, you just took my hands away. I need to cover them with gloves. He says, a tight end, you get to play with your hands. Well, now I just get a play. I don't get catch football. That's okay. Because I had one goal. And right now, we were sitting at one and one. We had eight games to play, and I wanted to win five of them. So we come down and get ready for practice. Coach Christopher says, okay, you big guy, you stand right here. Yes, sir. And he lines everybody up alongside. It's like, this is our new offensive line. I'm like, okay, coach. We go to practice. We get to watch a JV play. And we get to play Marietta. And if anybody ever played for Coach Haycock, you know one team you didn't want to lose to. Because you didn't want to have to practice the next week. That was Marietta. 